Nikola Topic is currently leading the Adriatic League in assists and is also second in points as the likely youngest player in this class, and this only made his draft stock continue to rise. He's a big point guard playing for Mega Mies who measured at 6'6 without shoes and a 7 foot wingspan at Basketball Without Borders, and though he's not without some clear question marks, his dynamic driving and overall playmaking ability has made him someone that'll likely be tough to keep out of conversations for the number one pick, especially in a class still with some uncertainty and a limited number of creators at the top. Now starting off with Topic's ability to create offense, but specifically his scoring, he's a big time driver and absolutely lives in the paint with over half his shots coming at the rim. That's what he wants to do first and foremost, and he's got great acceleration, he changes direction well, and he loves to use hang dribbles, push crosses, and slow to fast change of pace to get to the rim regularly. And at his size and with that speed and handle combination, it's been really tough to stop. When he does get to the rim, he's finished at about 70% at the bucket all year. Now, I do think there's something to be said about the lack of NBA athletes patrolling the paint here and in his ability to elevate, but as a below the rim guy, he's been impressive and found solutions to make things happen. He's got good touch, he's crafty, he can go either direction and definitely doesn't shy away from contact and it shows up in the results that he gets. <laughs> Ima ovdje dosta kontakta, Topić iz rollinga sada, šta radi Nikola Brija? Vratio je ekipu na plus pet, Topić, Topić na tabu. Ne može mega, očigledno bez uzbudljive završnice ove sezone, Topić ide na prodor, obišao još Ganeca, kako? He's of course done a majority of this out of the pick and roll and from a lot of different parts on the floor, from drag screens to dribble handoffs to just simple high pick and roll. He's done a good job of attacking, playing with good pace and using his body and finding an angle or area in the defense to exploit. A lot of teams have switched here and probably a little more than they should and he's consistently cooked them, often backing it out and getting a bit of momentum before getting to the paint and creating a good look in some capacity almost every time. Now some teams have hedged and blitz and ran some drop too but He's managed to make things happen without much resistance in a lot of ways and some of that comes back to the pace and just being able to navigate some of those tight spaces and create a good finishing angle. But to keep it simple, his game starts and ends with his one-two inability to get downhill and that's what sets up everything else in his game. And one of those parts of his game is his passing and ability to make plays for others. I spent a good amount of time focusing on his passing specifically early this season. And while there are a few things I think he can and will get better at here, he's definitely advanced for his age and he's done a good job of quickly processing things on the floor and handling the speed of this level with a minimal learning curve. The ability to put pressure on a defense and draw multiple defenders is always going to open up a lot of opportunities, and Topic has done a good job of finding teammates on kickouts, wraparounds, and dump offs, making some of those reactive reads, and the same goes for him in transition, whether it's a hit ahead or him pushing the pace himself, which he likes to do often. In the pick and roll, I've been impressed by his pace, and I think he has solid feel for his options right now. He can't have a tendency to predetermine the pass to the roller at times, but he gets it there well off the live dribble and against different coverages, and he's also had had several moments hitting the more complex skips and using a bit of manipulation to open up windows and freeze the defense. I think he still has a lot of room to grow as a passer and I would hesitate putting him in certain convos with the elite passers in the NBA right now even as pre-job prospects but there's already a lot to like and I think he's only going to get better from here especially if he can continue to expand his scoring arsenal. <laughs> Topić i Janković u igri u piku, Topić je faza i da se odmah. Znači ne može njime da bude zadovoljan Petar Mijović baš, ali dobro, tek je početak. Topić. Igra se jako brzo u ovim trenucima, Topić, njegova povratna, nešto viši pas. Now one of the biggest questions going forward with Topic is his ability to shoot the three ball and though he started off hot here and it looked like he might have turned a corner, it's come back down to earth to a level we'd seen it previously. And of course given the importance of this for a creator, a pick and roll ball handler and just an NBA player today, it's at the top of the list for him. Now he's far from incapable in the way that he's pulled up against some of these switches and the quickness he's identified, some of the few unders he's gotten, it does give me a decent amount of confidence in him here, especially at this age. Off the catch he's currently 
probably right at 30% and it's part of him not making much of an impact off the ball just yet but yeah overall the shooting is something that I'll be watching uh, closely down the stretch. I also want to see more from him as an overall self-creator and in his shot versatility beyond just getting to the rim. We talk threes, but he hasn't looked very comfortable getting to the mid-range or the floaters in the pick and roll and the percentages reflect that. And there haven't been too many counters or other consistent options there that you'd like to see from a potential ball handler. Now part of this is because nobody can really stay in front of him and they switch so much that it's like, why not just blow past everyone every time? But I'm curious to see what else he's capable of or any flashes that he shows to kind of further gauge the level that he could get to offensively and as a scorer. Zapo je Miljenović, Topić mora u realizaciju, težak šut za dva, pogađa ga Nikola Topić. Minute ovim oporavkom Bojkisa od povrede, Topić, Topić za... Podgorici na Superkupu i vratit će se ponovno Topić. Now defensively I'm still trying to find out who he'll be because surprisingly he hasn't had to do too much work on his end and given his age and just the sheer role that he has for them I've expected teams to go at him a little more but it really hasn't happened in, in a big way just yet. Positively, I do think he's been solid in help and has grasped his responsibilities well, whether it's playing as the low man, sinking to help on the glass, or rotating and playing the middle weak side on two-on-ones. He's been pretty attentive there and made some plays, which is most of what you want for someone who will definitely be at his best as a team defender. Again, on ball, he hasn't had to do too much work other than the little time that he spent on Ronaldo Segu, but Topic has some equally good and bad moments on him. I do worry a little bit about his footwork at the point of attack and in the pick and roll. Mega has also switched a lot too, so the screen navigation has been limited from a look perspective, but that's where I'm at with him defensively right now. And at the end of the day, he's at least got good size, especially if those listings are accurate. He's been fairly physical, especially on those moments where he is switching and hasn't shown himself to be behind the curve team-wise or conceptually. But those are some of the things that I'll be watching closest going forward. Now for some of the international prospects it just makes more sense to give a little background than it does to talk about the upcoming schedule or best matchups. So for Topic, he's been around the last couple years but he's really risen his stock over the last year especially at the Adidas Next Gen Tournament where he tied the scoring record with 49 points and then later he won MVP of the FIBA U18s this summer. And then since joining Mega on loan he's taken off even further from there. His dad Malenko Topic was part of the Yugoslavian team that won silver at the 96 Olympics and then won gold in FIBA in 98. So Nikola has been part of a, a basketball family. Right now I'd say Nikola Topic is becoming a pretty safe bet to be a top 7 pick and if he continues trending in the direction he has and potentially shoots the ball at a higher clip over the next couple months, he'll remain in the conversations for the number 1 pick depending on the team that gets it. His skill set as a young playmaking guard with good size and poise beyond his years is more than enough to put him in that mix in this class right now even with some of the big question marks that might still be there. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of Nikola Topic's game in the comments down below. As always, I'm Keandre, this is Swoopin' Elect. Until next time, I'm out.